What's up everybody? Today we're going to be unboxing band saws. Now I don't have the Milwaukee here. It took me, uh, I went through a lot trying to figure out what to buy. Now if you guys remember this DeWalt band saw was from a deal back over the holiday season. I have no idea how much this cost, but it was like if you buy that starter kit, you got this free. But this is normally like $350 or almost $400. I think it was about $350 knew it went on clearance and then it went on got attached to that buy one get one deal that was amazing i still have it haven't opened it move this aside and this i bought the last day of the deal you buy the bandsaw you get an angle grinder for free and they're both 36 volt tools now this was 500 dollars, and that was a hard pill to swallow especially when the Milwaukee bandsaw, which is also five inches, as well as the DeWalt is five inches, but this is four and 23 and 32 inches, uh, can be had for less than $300 on its own. That was kind of a hard pill to swallow, trying to figure out, well, which one should you get? I ended up ultimately choosing this one, mainly because of <laughs> the non, uh, we'll talk about the warranty, but mainly because, again, it is hybrid uh, powered, so it can be used off of a 36 volt battery or it could be plugged in and that is really where I'm trying to go with my tools. So with that said, we're going to open them up and just so everyone knows, if you purchase one of these, you know exactly what comes in the box. I won't be using the DeWalt because I'm going to end up selling that, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things. First of all, some specs here. They're all listed as five inch deep. Uh, I don't want to say deep throw. Y'all get what I mean though. <laughs> it's a deep band, deep cut, deep cut band saw. They're all listed as five inches, but apparently only the Milwaukee is a true five inches across and five inch depth and size. And we're going to actually measure both of these uh, before we pack them back up. But Let's go ahead and open, uh, let's talk about the warranties. On Metabolo's website, it says that this bandsaws have a lifetime warranty, but printed on the box, so there's no way to really get around it. It says five year warranty, so that's obviously a typo, or maybe it's the, the smaller cut uh, bandsaw that has the lifetime warranty. But this has a five year warranty, the DeWalt has a three year warranty, and the Milwaukee also has a five year warranty. So let's open up this box and see what we get for $500. All right. Open this up. Now for $500, oh, okay. So first of all, they didn't advertise this. And it's not even listed on the box. But you get a case. You get a hard, you get a hard case. Now see, that was my thing. $500 and it's listed as tool only, that makes me feel like that's a, that's a lot of money for the tool, but it comes with the case, okay, it comes with the case, the Milwaukee and the DeWalt uh, are tool only. Battery, it's a big battery too, this is a 4 amp hour battery. A charger, and I have to remember when you look at the image, I'm show it up here now. When you look at the listing, it does have a battery in the top of it, so it's it's so color matched to the tool, it's hard to see. But it does have a battery on there, but it doesn't mention anything about the case or the charger. So that makes a huge difference. That's like a hundred and six sixty dollars, roughly, right there. So if those are three fifty, the Milwaukee's three fifty, this three fifty. And if this was three fifty, and you include that, that's five hundred dollars. Plus the angle grinder, that wasn't a bad deal. And there we have it. We're gonna set this aside so we can compare the two briefly, measure out the depth, and all that. All right, now let's open up this DeWalt here. All right, so this is basically the case that you get. So in this, that was loud. This is what you get in here. It's just the tool, tool only. 
Now, for the price that we got this, that wasn't bad at all. There you have it. This one actually, I noticed something. This comes with the blade. There's a blade already installed. The Metabo doesn't have a blade. Let's check the packaging to make sure it's no blade. Came with blades. Oh, here it is. Yes. It comes with a blade, very hidden, very well hidden in the uh, packaging, but there's a blade right here. I was about to say, it just doesn't come pre-installed. All right, putting the DeWalt on the scale. With the blade, it weighs approximately right at 12 pounds. We'll say 12 pounds. The Metabo clocks in at 14.3 pounds, 14 pounds, three ounces. So two pounds heavier. All right, so in this, I want to bring your attention to the LED light uh, and how far over it comes. It, it pretty much on the Metabo it almost covers the entire work area. On the wall, it does a good job at lighting up the area. It doesn't cover uh, as much as the Metabo. It's about, covers maybe 90% of the area where the Metabo covers about 95. Okay, so I took some time to really go through these units. Um, again, I didn't cut anything, but I do want to bring some attention to a few things. This is going to require me to just simply hold the phone. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about ergonomics here. Let's take a look, good look at the handle here and the attractiveness of the Metabo. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the DeWalt and take a look at the attractiveness of this. I love this pistol grip handle here. I mean, it's just so nice. Um, another thing when it comes to turning it on, there is a switch here that's locked, that's unlocked. Now, I do have a gripe with the switch. Uh, it's not very pronounced. Uh, it's hard to tell which is which, and that could cause an accident, obviously. But lock, here we go, let's see if you can see this. Locked, unlocked. Locked, unlocked. Yeah, it's not a huge difference. Now, with the Metabo, that just stays locked all the time. So, in order to actually get the unit to do something, you have to push this down all the way through. That's a big... And you can do it on either side. It doesn't stay in place, so you have to push it down and then pull the trigger. Uh, that ensures there is no... Uh, issues when it comes to operation of the tool. There's no accidental operation, which could happen with the DeWalt. But going back to the attractiveness overall, I think the DeWalt looks fantastic. Uh, I did come to realize why this thing is so much lighter. What is this? A, oh, that's that's cool. That, that's totally cool. At first, I thought that was just a design, but I'm like, wait a minute, that looks like a hex key. I don't see that over here. I do not see anything like that on the Metabo, and there is something that requires a potential adjustment of a hex key if you want to adjust this guard. Uh, you'll need an Allen key, and this has this built in to the handle, quite clever, right there. I can dig it. I like that. I really do like that. Now, I do know why this is two pounds lighter. There's a lot of plastic. That's plastic. On the Metabo, this is not plastic. This is actually rubber for uh, protection. Uh, it does, can get a little nasty looking though. You see this? It looks like someone spilled oil on it. Uh, but that just came from my greasy hands. You don't really have that issue over here on the hard plastic. Now, if we flip it over, well, before we flip it over, let's talk about the handle here. The handle on the DeWalt is adjustable. So what you do is just loosen that up and adjust the handle. Whereas on the Metabo, it's fixed. This is not adjustable at all. 
All right, now we get into some good stuff. Let's talk about the innards of both. This time we're going to talk about the Matabo. So as you can see on the Matabo, these pulleys are made of, they're made of metal. On the DeWalt, this is plastic. Although it's a thick, hard plastic, it, it, it is still plastic nonetheless. Another thing, if we notice, if we take a look back here, and I only noticed this because I had to install the blade. If you take a look, let's turn on the light. Back there, there is a little bearing. You see the bearing on this side as well. And there is, this is easier to see, there's another bearing there as well. That is to ensure smooth operation of the blade when it's moving. Now here on the DeWalt, we have one bearing there. We have a, another bearing there. But at the top, we don't have any more bearings. We just have a little, a little guard here. Uh, and speaking of guards... To prevent the blade from cutting anyone up here, we have this heavy-duty metal plate here. Whereas here, this is kind of like a thick piece of aluminum or a thin piece of steel. This probably feels like a thin piece of steel here. I can stick my finger through the back. It doesn't run through like the DeWalt. The problem is, if this were ever dropped, this feels like it might break and not bend but hopefully it would bend i mean it's really solid it's really 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 solid but this would bend most certainly uh it's an easy replacement to screw there screw there but you know that's something to consider this will be easier to fix and you might have some damage with this at some point um and here this is more Robust is definitely harder, but I don't know. It, it might break if you drop it instead of bend, but it might bend too. I, I don't know what the material uh, is quite made of. Another cool thing with the wall is it has a brush. So as it turns, this brush clears debris off of the pulley. You don't have that situation on the Matabo at all. And while we're still on the inner side here, let's measure these guards. The guards on the Matabo is just shy of five and a half. Uh, the guard on the DeWalt is the same length. All right, so while we're here, let's measure the, the depth of the throat here. It is almost five, almost five inches. On the Metabo, the blade comes down to five inches exactly. Going across, Again, right at five inches. I know it's blurry. I don't know what's going on with my camera. And on the DeWalt, slightly past five inches. It's just, it's like five and an eighth. All right, moving back on the side of the DeWalt, you have a hook here that's fixed in place. On the Matabo, it can be rotated. Well, it can be rotated for closure. If you want to actually use it, it has to just come out here. And it's actually pretty sturdy. It looks like it might not be, but it's, it's, it's actually really sturdy. But one of the biggest things I like and dislike about these things, the DeWalt has a variable trigger. When you put it, I think it's on one, but when you put it on five, listen to this, several clicks, so it's not a smooth, dial but i still but I, I don't find that to be a big issue um when you depress the trigger all right you get it it's a variable trigger now over here with the metabo not so uh you have to just set it and it has the same settings one through five and it just goes That's one. It did stop immediately. That was a pretty good break. And that's it. Now it also has an auto feature on the Metabo. It seems like a lot of the tools have that. I don't like auto features. Let's check the brake on this DeWalt. Ooh, why 
ますです。Does not stop immediately like the Matabo. This is on full blast five. See? Uh, overall, I'd say the Matabo is definitely safer. But this bad boy is heavy, probably because of all that metal.、Uh, DeWalt used plastic. Uh, for their pulleys, and that made a huge difference, it would seem,、um, especially with that, also with the housing that's plastic. This bad boy definitely weighs a lot, a lot more.、Um, let's sit down and talk about some things. Let's go ahead and talk about these two different tools. First of all, let's talk about the pricing. So, the Metabo HPT is it's 509, it's not really 509 because It's $4.99 over here at Lowe's. And while I don't like Lowe's, you do get 3% cash back with Retail Me Not. Now, if you're new and you've never used Rakuten, then by all means, go over to Acme Tools. They price match Lowe's and they have the same 2% cash back. And if you use my link, you'll get $30 cash back on your purchase when you sign up with Rakuten. Now, With all that said, this is $4.99, so $500. And the DeWalt is $3.19. So you may say, wow, well, that's a huge price difference. I'm going to go with that DeWalt. Well, hold your horses for a bit because this DeWalt is tool only. I've never seen this deep cut Metabo be sold as anything other than a kit. So it comes with a four and five battery, it comes with a charger, and it comes with a big plastic case to house everything the charger, the battery, and the bandsaw. It doesn't advertise that for some odd reason, but it does come with that. Now, when you factor that in, the battery and the charger alone is normally $150. And then that brings this whole thing, if you add $150 to this $320, that makes everything $470, right? That's very close. And for an extra $30, you're right here at $500 in the plastic case. So everything is actually pretty much the same price. It's just that. Here with the Metabo, it does kind of force you into a, to a spot here to have、um, to buy the battery and charger. And if you didn't need that, you know, that could be a little annoying. Next up, I want to talk about just let's just talk about which one I ended up keeping. I ended up keeping the Metabo HPT for a number of reasons. One, it has a longer warranty, it has a five year warranty as opposed to the DeWalt's three year warranty. And that was a big thing、uh, earlier in the year because. On Metabo HPT's website, it clearly says that bandsaws have a lifetime warranty. They do have a smaller bandsaw, this one, and maybe this is the one that has a lifetime warranty. I don't know. Let's check that out. Ah, it is. Look, manufacturer warranty, lifetime. So, there, so the small one does have a lifetime warranty, which is weird. The small 18 volt has a lifetime warranty, but the 36 volt does not. It has a five year warranty, which is comparable to. Milwaukee. So it's still a good warranty. It's you know, just annoying that it does say lifetime on the website. But when you get it, it's on the, printed on the box, clear as day, five year warranty. The other reason I chose the Metabo over the DeWalt was its metal construction.、Uh, when it comes to certain cuts, cutting certain material, the extra two pounds will actually speed that process up. Um, another reason why it may cut through metal a little bit better than the DeWalt is also the blade. So you want to keep that in mind. This has 18 teeth per inch, so 18 TPI, whereas the DeWalt here comes with a 14 TPI blade.、Uh, and you can always get different blades. So, you know, that's not a real big deal, but that's what they come with. But again, that weight will,、uh, while it's, being, it's heavier, while it's resting on the piece to cut,、uh, it's going to actually. Require less force for you to actually make the cut. The Metabo is also safer. I do appreciate the trigger so there will be no accidental、uh, activations because when you pick this up, thing up, you're going to, you know, you, it's easy to pick it up from the pistol grip handle and accidentally squeeze the trigger, and that could cause a major problem with this blade running and it hits your body.、Um, this, that'll never happen. You have to push this button and pull the trigger at the same time. 
But the other thing that I like a lot about it is that break. That break is incredible. You see that break from full five? Just, I mean, it's immediate. And if you look at the uh, look at the reviews, I encourage you to look at the reviews. Somebody said it that they say it's they saved the finger because had it been a Dewalt or anything else, their finger would have probably been gone. It definitely got cut, but he was saved because of this immediate break. Not only that, the lighting is better. Uh, the, it has more coverage with light. If you read the reviews, that people say the same thing. That's what they rave about. The lighting is excellent. So overall, I do like the Metabo a little bit more. Uh, there are a couple things that I wish that they would do that the DeWalt did. Like I love the adjustable handle on the um, DeWalt, and I like the onboard storage for the Allen key. Now, while I did choose the Metabo HPT bandsaw over the DeWalt, it this right here what i'm about to show you made it a tough decision so there are some companies that make stands for portable bandsaws that basically turn them into vertical standing bandsaws which is a an incredible function for this tool so you don't have to have two different tools lying around to do two different things you have just the one have the stand mount on a stand and get going this is also another reason why i prefer deep cut wide mouth bandsaws as opposed to the smaller ones they were just way more versatile however this company obviously caters to the more popular wide known brands even they even have now have harbor freight bauer on there but and and even when but they do not have any hitachi or metabo hpt choices on here now i'm pretty positive one of these will fit the metabo hpt however their customer service is trash. I reached out to them two times and they ignored me both times. So good luck with, you know, getting them to tell you which one works for the Metabo because mm, I don't know, I'm still waiting. And it's been literally since February <laughs> and it's September. No one's ever gotten back to me. So that's kind of unfortunate there. But they're not the only company in town. Um, there's another company called Rilla that uh, also makes them and, and so you know this is a cool feature a cool function and definitely the dewalt will be an easy purchase because you could just come over here go to dewalt and select your saw from the drop down menu and then you know you're in business so that's kind of the thing with the metabo you know kind of you know hit or miss trying to just buy these and see which works but in the end, I still felt like all those other things made the Metabo HPT the better choice. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, which one would you choose? Right now, you know, this is September 2022. I actually filmed this thing in like February. <laughs> uh, I'm just wrapping it up. But the free rebate is going on. So if you bought this now, uh, you would actually get a free 4 power battery. But I would kind of hold off because when I purchased this, it came with the bandsaw and it came with an angle grinder and an extra battery. So, I, I mean, it was an incredible deal. Uh, and that was about six months ago. So, you know, that's liable to pop, up, pop back up if you're not in a rush for a bandsaw. But if you are, there is this free uh, 4 amp hour battery rebate available. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, hopefully this video was helpful. Sorry for the audio in the beginning. My mic cut off. I'm, you know, these lapel mics just don't want to work for me. Uh, but hopefully you were still able to hear okay, and I will see you guys next time.